Hey guys, it's me. I'm getting ready for work. I'm about to leave soon. Um, keep you updated on my piercings. Um, my tongue. You can't really say, but it's doing wonderful. Um, my septum. I can't get the ring out. I don't know what happened, but I can't unscrew my ring. I feel like somebody's watching me. It's so creepy. I have my window wide open and the house looks fuzzy. Never mind. Okay, so I can't unscrew the ring because it just won't unscrew. That's kind of a problem um, because this one kind of hurts going in and I'm not allowed to wear it for work. And I normally put in my retainer. So, yeah, it's kind of a problem. Um, what else can I say? Um, my industrial, the piercing that I hated for God knows how long, is getting so much better. Um, I looked at it a couple of days ago and it had a nice size lump on there still. Um, I've noticed that like there was a lump around the whole bar, but then one side started to go down, like one side of the bar, like the bar, the lump, and then one side, you know, it started to go down. And then I looked at it today and there's barely a lump there, so that's pretty exciting. Um, none of the bars that I fit though fit in my ear because I have a tiny, tiny ear. And I knew that getting it pierced, but I didn't think like it was going to be super tiny where an average size bar wouldn't fit in. But um, the bars that I got just won't go in. And I still don't know if it's like the lump because yeah, I still have a lump there. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll give it some time. Um, but. Yeah, my sister's getting married, um, August 27th, and, um, I have to, uh, close out my piercings a little bit, not close them up, but, like, cover them up a little bit, um, so for my gauged ears, I'm not allowed to, like, have tunnels in and, you know, just look a little bit presentable, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to do that with my stretched ears. Um, my septum I'm hiding. I'm going to get a retainer for my tongue. So that, because her boyfriend's family is Muslim, and I don't know if their family is going to be there, his family. And I don't want to, like, disgrace my sister or whatever. I don't know, but, um, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to close my piercings up. I'm going to take out the bar and just put two regular horseshoe rings in. Um, I'm putting horseshoes in um, just because I don't know if you can put anything else in, but I'm putting horseshoes in, 14 gauge horseshoes. Um, and I might keep that in instead of the bar. So the bar is kind of a hassle. I mean, I'll go back to it if I feel like it, but like... The bar is a hassle. It's the biggest hassle ever. Um. What else? Um. I'm trying. I tried to get back with somebody. Um. We weren't exactly together, but um. We had a great night one night. Um. Nothing really happened other than him telling me that he liked me. And he was very flirty and just very silly, fun, cute, adorable. It made me happy. And he came to me. And my dad's always talking about how guys who come to me are going to last long. And I was like, I was very happy with him. But all this drama to my family and everything, just like, it was too overwhelming. And I kind of pushed them off. And, um... I want him back. Uh, he made me happy. He made me very, very happy. As in, like, just how I'm feeling. Like, no guy can make me as happy as he did. You know, I was laughing the whole night. I did not want to leave his side. It was, it was amazing. And I got some benefits. No, he gave me those.
It still smells like him. I don't touch it. I don't play with it. I don't touch it. I stay away. I still want to smell like him. I don't wear it at night. I don't do anything like that. In a few of my videos, actually, it was um, sitting up on my chair next to my Hoagie Fest shirt. Yeah, so. I miss him, and I want him back. And, um, I tried to text him, and he texted me once, and that was it. So, I feel even at that, but um, I definitely want him back, and I don't know if I should try or not. But I'm going to end this video because I have to get ready for work. So, um, bye.